Find the perimeter of a rectangle with the length and width given below. Express your answer as a simplified rational expression and state the domain. All right, so they give us the length. The length is this rational expression. The width is that right there. And if we just draw ourselves a rectangle, let's draw ourselves a rectangle up here so we don't use valuable real estate. If that's the width and that is the length, the perimeter of this rectangle is going to be the width plus the length times 2, because you have two widths right here. You have two lengths. So you could view that as w plus w plus l plus l, which is the same thing as 2w plus 2 l, which is the same thing as 2 times the width plus the length. So we have to f find out what 2 times 2 times the width plus the length is as a rational expression. So let's write that down. So the perimeter, the perimeter is going to be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times the width plus the length, or we could say the length plus the width either way. So the width is x minus 3y over x plus 4. And then the length is, so plus 2x plus 5y over x plus 4. And let's add these two rational expressions. We have the same denominator, so we can just add the numerators. So this is going to be equal to 2 times the denominator is going to be x plus 4. We have the same denominator. So this problem wasn't too hairy. We didn't have to come up with a common denominator. And we're going to have x minus 3y plus 2x plus 5y in the numerator. So let's just simplify it. We have our x terms. You have an x plus a 2x. So that's going to give us a 3x in the numerator. And then you have a negative 3x and a 5y in the numerator. So that'll negative 3 plus 5 is plus 2y in the numerator. And then we can multiply out this 2. We can distribute this 2. And then we end up with, we have 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 2y is 4y plus 4y. All of that over x. All of that over x plus 4. And there's really no way to simplify this anymore. And you know, in this example, out here, we actually had the 2 factored out. And 3x plus 2y, no common factors. It's not going to cancel with x plus 4. And when they say state the domain, state the domain we just have to think about the x values that will that aren't part of the domain that would make this that would make either of these expressions or this final expression undefined or actually all they care about is the final expression and the thing that would make the final expression undefined is if this denominator is equal to 0 and the denominator is going to be equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 4 so we can just constrain the domain and say x cannot be equal to negative 4, that we are not defining that this is undefined at x equals negative 4. So the simplified rational expression for a perimeter, 6 plus 4y over x plus 4, x cannot be negative 4.